Second graders, welcome back. So for our next assignment, we're going to be drawing a three-dimensional looking birdhouse. So you can see right here on this first one, uh, we have our 3D birdhouse. And this one is standing, is sitting on top of a pole. We can see the grass, we can see a fence, we can see trees, we're going to see lots of details. Uh, most people have their birdhouse hanging from a tree, from a tree branch. And you can see here comes a bird about to come in, going to come land on this stick and then hop in. And then in this tree hiding, we have a cat. So if you want to have a little bit of fun with this, absolutely. I love seeing... Uh, when y'all turn in your work and add these extra details using your fun imaginations, then after you finish with your drawing, you're going to color it in like this student. The pink and brown says Birds Club, keep out cats. So, to draw a birdhouse, what you will do is you're going to start by drawing a regular house just like you've done since kindergarten. So start with like a square and then top of a triangle. Next, to make it 3D, you're going to add three extra lines and you're not going to draw them sideways. You're going to come up at an angle. One, two, three. Then I'm going to draw a line straight up and then this one should come at an angle, the same angle as this. So you're drawing the side, the roof, and the side of the birdhouse. Then I'm going to draw a circle for the opening and then I'm going to add this extra curve. It's kind of look kind of like a, a moon shape and draw some extra lines. That's the wood part. Then I'm going to add that stick that I showed you a minute ago. And there you go. Next, I start with my details. So I'm going to start drawing my tree. So to draw the bird flying, what I tell my students is draw a line, then curve it, kind of like a backward C, come back, come up, draw the tail feathers, then draw the beak, so basically a triangle, an extra line, draw the eye any way you would like. Now for the wing, I'm going to come out, add these extra, and then back here I just draw part of the wing because the body's covering up the rest of it. And if you wanted to make it look like it's, draw, it's flying really fast, you can add these extra lines. Or if you want your... Uh, bird to be inside, you can draw a curve, like the letter C, the beak again, the eye. So if you draw it inside of the opening, then you only have to draw the head, just part of the head because the body is all in here, covered up by the treehouse. Then, like I said, add any extra details you would like. Uh, maybe uh, you want to make it nice and pretty. Maybe you want to add words to it. I think I'm going to draw maybe 
the cat that we saw earlier jumped and missed and now it's hanging on and sliding down and maybe down here I have a dog waiting the cat to fall down so you can see the scratch marks from its claws and he's sliding down sliding down here's the dog, here's the dog waiting so have fun with this use your imagination but the main part of your assignment is to try and draw your 3D looking birdhouse. So once you have finished with your drawing and coloring it in, please send me a picture through Schoology. This one is for a grade, so uh, can't wait to see what you all come up with. Hope you have fun with this. Thanks for watching.